Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we are tracking late October and early November activity in the Caribbean. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin, thanks to tropicaltippets.com for Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. The maroon arrow is pointing towards the remnants of Hurricane and Tropical Storm Oscar, which was very small, uh, just north of Hispaniola when it rapidly intensified from a tropical storm into a 85 mile per hour hurricane before making landfall with eastern Cuba. Then it made a about face and went northeast towards our current position today, where it's now an extra tropical system on its way towards Europe. Now, if we look at the uh, cyclonic vorticity of the Atlantic, you can see that is the main dominant feature right now, that storm in the Atlantic Ocean as it's passing Bermuda. Then on the bottom left of your screen, that is actually what's left of Nadine, which made landfall in Belize. And it is now actually Hurricane Christie in the Eastern Pacific Basin. So here we can see that the Atlantic is going to be quiet for the next few days. Uh, so everyone has a chance to take a breath, a breath, recover from Milton, Helene, from Oscar, from uh, Nadine, and everything that's been going on for the past few weeks. Speaking of Nadine, here is the remnants of it, which reformed into Hurricane Christie, now a Category 3, knocking on the door of Category 4, hurricane status in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Not a threat to any land, but very uh, well-defined eye with this storm. You can see it's uh, moving in a westward direction at 20 miles per hour, and then we'll start to feel some of the effects of the uh, subtropical jet, so it's going to pull it northward, but then still continue west. But at that time, it will be in cooler water and dissipate. But we are expecting this one to be a major hurricane at least through the end of this week and then start weakening this weekend into cooler waters. Now back to the Atlantic. The black hexagon is pointing towards the remnants of Tropical Storm and Hurricane Oscar as it becomes extra tropical passing by Bermuda on its way towards the North Atlantic and eventually Europe. Now, if we look at the Atlantic upper level environment right now, we have that upper level trough, which is uh, eroding away at Oscar with the high wind shear. We have a light wind shear environment in the uh, Caribbean right now, but nothing's there to take advantage of it. The rest of the Atlantic has a large amount of wind shear and a lot of dry air. You can see even the intertropical virgin zone has been pushed very far south. Uh, compared to where it's been most of the hurricane season, which initially was even north of the Cabo Verde Islands, that hampered development through the month of August and uh, September initially before it came back down south and started to stop kicking up some of that Saharan air um, and became much more active mid-September through recently. Uh, but we're going to have another active period. Right now we're in a lull, a lot of dry air once more, a lot of sinking air. And that's controlled a lot by the Madden-Julian Oscillation or the MJO. So the black hexagon is, I mean not the black, the black arrow, sorry, is showing where we are today. We're in phase 5 of the MJO index. And that is unfavorable to the Atlantic. A lot of sinking air, all of our rising air which would be conducive for development, is in the Western Pacific Basin and Indian Ocean, actually. So, if you follow this in a counterclockwise direction, you can see by the time we get to October 31st, we're going to be exiting Phase 7 and entering Phase 8, which is much more conducive for tropical development in the Atlantic. All the rising air will be in the Western Hemisphere and Africa. So here you can see that on the GFS model. This is today, 200 millibar velocity potential anomaly. So this shows the sinking air in red, the rising air in green. So we have the rising air of what's left of Oscar, left in the Atlantic, otherwise everything else is red. 
And then in the Western Pacific, you can see all the rising air. That's that MJO. So if we move this forward 10 days to Saturday, November 2nd, you can see it does a complete 180. We have a ton of rising air now in the Atlantic and Northern Hemisphere. So that's going to be another phase, another active period potentially in the Atlantic Basin. And all it needs is something to grab hold of to potentially create another tropical storm or hurricane in the Atlantic Basin. Will we see something like that? Well, the GFS says in about seven days on Wednesday, October 30th, next week, we'll start to see the fledging uh, vorticity of maybe something trying to form once more in the Western Caribbean. And we've seen this before. We saw it with Helene. We saw it with uh, Nadine. So it's possible that this, I mean, the MJO is going to say, hey, we're getting more favorable towards the end of October and November. Is the GFS right or is it just being bullish at the moment? According to the GFS, we're going to have this upper level ridge overhead, which we've seen that before. The very warm waters, very low wind shear environment, ton of moisture to work with, with that rising air, more favorable environment that the MJO is going to provide. 10 days from now, it says potentially another major hurricane somewhere in the Western Caribbean. Don't take this as a grain of salt that it's going to be near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, or Jamaica. It could be anywhere in the Western Pacific, uh, Western uh, Caribbean. So Yucatan, Belize, Central America, at Bahamas, maybe a little bit of the Gulf of Mexico. It all depends on where the steering currents are 10, 7 to 10 days from now, which is still very far out. Anything can happen, but we saw how long it took Helene to actually get together and Milton. So we, anything that forms in this region does take time to consolidate. Nadine took a long time before uh, it consolidated just before landfall with Belize and then crossed Central America and then became a major hurricane in the Pacific Basin. So that is a possibility, too, that it goes in that direction. We don't know what the steering currents will be seven to ten days from now. Right now, the high pressure says it's going to be over the eastern half of the United States, uh, but that could be different. Right now, it's saying this would be a 963 millibar hurricane in and around the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and Jamaica. If we look at the European model, we see something uh, completely different, but we do see a system forming in the western southern caribbean it just takes 10 days to even see that form not seven days and then blow up into a hurricane three days later so at the end of that loop you see right near nicaragua something forming just like we saw with nadine so it could form quickly like on the gfs or it could take a lot slower time like on the european model Here's the ensembles showing that they're both in agreement that something may come out of the Southern to Western Caribbean. Just depends on when, how strong that this wants to develop and also how long it takes the MJO to be, get into that favorable environment. Right now it's saying the end of the month. So this is going out to November 2nd. This would be the beginning of November. We'll see if that holds true. So this is the area we'll be watching the rest of the month into November for possible development. If anything else pops up, obviously we'll cover it if I have time between work, school, for the kids, after school activities. Uh, but this is where we'll be focusing our attention between now and the beginning of November. Next name on the list will be Patty. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather like to give a shout out to Mary Ortiz for donating $10 to our last uh, video, so thank you very much. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed with the breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.